Hey, I am Jelle, and I really don't like to clean my room. So rather than cleaning up like any sane person would do, I've decided that I am going to live in a virtual world from now on. No more vacuuming, sweeping or mopping. Everything will stay perfectly clean in my new world. Okay, here's the game plan. Step 1. Recreate everywhere I go on a daily basis. So that includes my room. Yeah, yeah, that, that's basically it. Step 2. Make the stuff around me interactable so I can perform my daily tasks. Step 3. Live my life and never look back. Yeah. The nice part about wanting to make a very clean version of your room is that you don't need to model all the messy stuff. And luckily, if I remember correctly, I already made a version of my room once, in one of my first games, Toy Hunter. Alright, this can get me started, but let the uh, double check anyway. Well, it turns out I was off just about everywhere. Nevertheless, technically I am an architect, so getting the shape of the room correct should be an easy task, right? I took a picture of my poster wall and threw it all together into a nice empty room. I even matched the amount of planks on the floor with my wood planks figure. Now for the hard part. All the furniture. Look, I'm not going to make every little thing in here. Not because that would be too much work or anything, but because I want a clean room, remember? Hold on, now that I'm looking at all my furniture, I'm noticing a pattern. Everything is just black or white rectangles. Just do a little bit of this, and then a little bit of that, and ta-da! All the basics are already done. And for the rest, well, let's just say I like to drop by IKEA every now and then. And I'm not the only one. A quick stroll around the 3D model websites, and I got another batch of furniture ready to go. Hip as I am, of course, I have to hang my bike in my room. Luckily, I already made that once. Just like my guitar. Wait a second. I thought I did a slightly better job than that. Nevertheless, 10 minutes of modeling later and I got a new guitar. If only real life was that easy. Then, after making a 2D printer, 3D printer, some cameras and other desk things, I got enough stuff to really feel like I can live in this virtual world. Now that I got my 3D model, it's time to play with it. Let's put it all in unity. First thing I did was recreate the fancy shaders from Blender, like my floor. I told my room to stay still to bake all the pretty lighting. And that was looking way better already. Alright, let's fire up the game and play around a bit. See how I like my new life. <laughs> what am I <laughs> what am I doing? I need a much more immersive experience than this if I really want to stay at least kind of healthy. Hmm. Let me think while I play some uh, beats. Here. Alright, 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 I get it. VR is cool. Let's get on with our lives and try to come up with some real solutions. Anyway, I imported the Oculus integration package and got to work. Making a VR game should be a cakewalk, right? <sighs> Spoiler, it turns out it's not. Let me tell you the story of the current state of making VR games in Unity. There are like 3 render pipelines, 4 different XR plugins and even like 2 input systems. How am I supposed to know what to use right now? Luckily, there is one hero in our midst to help us navigate the jungle of frameworks, APIs and integration. My fellow Belgian, Valem. His tutorials helped me get my first steps in VR and I was off to a great start. I made a cube and another cube and I got my cable, plugged it in, got my headset, grabbed the controller and started throwing stuff around. Woohoo, yeah, pa pa chi pa <laughs> The first successful steps are made. Now that I can throw stuff in a grey box, the logical next step is to import my room. Oops, <laughs> that's the wrong way, right? <laughs> Second try. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, my room is looking good. I can walk around, but when I look at myself, all I see are two cubes. How am I supposed to do my makeup in the morning like this? Well, let me explain. Good. No, no, not that kind of montage. The virtual one. You know, the one where I converted my old 3D model of myself into a better one. Yes, yes, yes. Roll the clip.
Ah, that's a lot better. This was the last time I ever have to worry about how I look. Of course, we can't use normal pre-made animations like any other game. I can possibly start to animate all the different things that I would do in my daily life. It's time to pull an old skeleton out of the closet. Literally. Inverse Kinematics Since New Yellen is based on old Racer Yellen, I can reuse some IK scripts. You know, from my racing game. But of course, walking is a lot different from biking. I can't just move my legs with the pedals. I mean, the bike is stuck on the wall. In my Wii Mode adventure, I made a very cool Godzilla, which could move on its own, and I never really talked about it. So, here's my chance. It's based on most procedural walking systems, where you set up target points for the feet based on certain distances to the center. When a foot is too far away from the target, the feet move up based on the distance to that target, I pick their position and correcting a bit when the character is moving. Also, rotating the feet slightly to match the body. Since I'm only going to be moving a little and totally all over the place, I need to really pay close attention to the small movements of the body. Alright, let's place the monster script on New Yellow and <laughs> I should probably do something about the arms. This time around, that's much easier. I mean, VR is all about hand tracking, right? Just link them to the targets and ta-da! Easy peasy. The next step was doing something about these frozen hands. If I want to live in here, I need some visual feedback. And I can't be bothered to use controllers all the time. Thank God for the wonders of a the technology these days, which allows the headset to track all of my fingers. Oculus provides us with these nice 3D models and rigs you can use to show how the hand tracking is working. Well, I don't want to use their hands. I want to use my own. They might look worse, but they're mine. And they're linked to my arm, so that's a lot easier. Thank you, Oculus, for providing us with this great script to instantly map the hands to any model. Uh, hmm. All right, maybe it's due to a weird FBX scaling from Blender. Uh, uh. Ah! I look like my hands just spent three years under a hydraulic press. All right, I need to get this stuff off my chest. Why don't we all use the same coordinate system for everything? Oh, I have an idea. Let's make the forward direction minus X. What? That's so logical. I prefer to use plus Y. What? Forward is that. I mean, it's even called like that. Please just get along or something. Ugh. Fine. I'll do it myself. Uh, uh, I can't even do that. If I can't snap my fingers, I guess I'll just uh, program it in. I made an access transform script where you can just select which bones to link, set an offset, and pick the new axis. And ta-da! It works like magic. Alright, uh, almost. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, here we go, proper hand tracking. Now, I just need to detect the pinch, and ta-da, I can finally grab stuff with a pinch. There is still some stuff I like to add. Looking to myself from a webcam is fun and all, but I want something bigger. Now that I'm no longer bound to the real world, I can have a giant mirror covering the entire wall. You know, mirrors aren't actually that straightforward, unless you're like ray tracing or something. But this headset is not doing that anytime soon. So I first tried some fancy camera matching slash portal tricks to mirror the view, but rendering two extra cameras in VR is really expensive. And also you have to like take in account the offset of the eyes. So I thought, you know, why don't I just copy the whole room and just mirror it? And then myself too. I mean, no one would ever know. And it looks exactly the same. Except like you guys, which is basically everyone who will ever see this project, so... Hmm. Anyway, moving on. Now that I'm doing whatever I want, why don't I start messing with the laws of nature? Let's add a gravity shifter. With a little drag, I can change the direction of gravity. Just like this. Woo! Bye-bye furniture. Wait, now my room is messy again. Don't worry, I thought about everything. I wanted to feel like Doctor Strange too, so I made a time shifter device which tracks the position of all the dynamic objects in my room. And with a simple twist, I can put everything back in its place. Yeah, I love my new room. Well, goodbye old world. Now I can finally live the life I've always wanted. Uh, uh, what a beautiful day to live in my virtual world. Let's see, what can we do today? I can walk around a bit. Take a little nap, even work on my computer if I want. The possibilities are endless. But you know what is the best part of living in my virtual world? My new robot friend. There you are. Hello, mister. Look at this wonderful piece of engineering. 
this robot friend will help me with all the things that I need. Like, um, get me a little drink, please. All right, he should be back any minute now. Let's see. Oh, hello, where is my drink? This is nothing. Hello, please. Give me a drink, stupid bot. Oh my god, I have to do everything myself around here. Little bot, come back here. No, give me a drink. Give me a drink, oh my god. Go back, give me a drink. Oh my god. How, how hard can it be to get yourself this little drink? Give me a drink, please. God, this robot is... Can't, I can't work with this. This robot can't do anything right. Please, somebody. Please help me, stupid robot. Do something for once. Uh, oh, 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 this is not what I need. Ah, 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 please, ah, stop shooting. Ah, oh my god, where, where do I go? Where do I go? Oh, I got this. I'm on the gravity shifter. Oh, please, get, get, put some stuff. Yeah, block, block him. Oh my god, where do I go? What do I do? Oh, my step is gone. Ah, I have no idea what to do. Please, ah, ah, anyone, send help. Please, ah, what am I supposed to do? I'm stuck here. Oh, I need, I need to crawl. I need to hide. I need to hide. Oh, what can I do? What can I do? Oh my god. This robot is going to kill me. I don't know what to do. Ah! 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 Where is my chest? Oh, my robot is... Ah, gravity shifter. Gravity shifter, come here. Get, give him to me. Oh my... Ah, me! Oh, I... Ah, I don't know what to do. I'm going to die. I'm going to die here. What do I do? 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 Wait a second. What am I doing? What am I... What am I doing with my life? Huh? <laughs> oh my god. I really need to go out sometime. Thank you guys so much for watching. Press like if you enjoyed the video. And subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future. And I'll see you guys next time. Somewhere outside perhaps. Who am I kidding? I'm just going back in my room. Bye.